What you're looking at is called an equatorial sundial. And this is a test uh, model which um, will be used to demonstrate how this uh, device works. Today is August 13th and it's still summertime. With the sun still in the north, north of the equator, this particular sundial works in such a way as to see the shadow cast on the front of it. So if we look at this, we can see the shadow is in the front, and indeed, that's pretty close to the time. It's not quite uh, set up properly. This axle, which is the gnomon, is actually set to look at the North Celestial Pole. Now, the back side of the sundial also has a face, but notice it's in shadow. Now, this is the winter side, and what will happen as the sun crosses the celestial equator heading south on the first day of uh, fall, which will be next month, um, the shadow will start to show up here during the day. So what I plan to do is to uh, a date after the equinox uh, in September is to come back and show you that indeed the shadow will start to appear on the back or the winter side of the equatorial sundial. This is September 23rd, 2011. This is what the uh, sundial looks like on the day of the equinox. Notice there's no shadow from the gnome on the front. nor is there no shadow from the gnome on the back, as you would anticipate. The sun is, as far as this uh, back plate is concerned, moves like this. So it's in shadow on the equinox. So the next time we look at this will be some days away from this and uh, we should be able to catch a shadow for time on the uh, winter side. It's November 6th, 2011. It's well past the equinox. And you notice that the shadow is now cast on the underside of the plate, or the winter side as I call it. And you can see it very plainly there. If we move around, To the summer side, notice it's in shadow as you would expect. So this is the workings of an equatorial sundial.